Okay. All right, what about this one? Now, notice we've got the triple bond. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to number this, of course, one. No. No? What's wrong? Number from yeah, the Yeah, I want, I want the numbers to be lowest. Three, four, five, six. If there's six, this will be hex I. The Y and E gives, denotes the triple bond, and since it's after carbon number one, it's just one hexine. 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 There you go. Like your hiney or whatever. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we have with a branch. So this has got a double bond, but we're going to start on this side because we actually want the double bond to have the lowest number. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. And actually, I could jump up here. It would actually be the same answer. Yep. Wouldn't it? So there are five. So his last name would be Hex. Nope. Five. Sorry. Pent. Ene. And this is going to be actually a one. Pentene, mm -hmm. and then I've got a branch. This, oh, pardon me, this branch right here. He's on carbon number four, so he's going to have four, four methyl, methyl one pentene. Now we do have this one up here too. I've just realized I saw that just a minute mm -hmm. ago. This has got triple bonds. We'll uh, number them one, two, three, four. So this will be a butyne because it's got the triple bonds. So this will be, it's at carbon one and carbon three, two of them though, so yep. be one comma three, what would it be Mr. Sams? Uh, yeah, one three di, or one three butyne. Did you say dibutyne? Dibutyne? I think it's dibutyne. Uh, yes, we do. One, one comma three dibutyne. You should yep. put smoosh put these together. together. Okay, and then this one has a double bond here, so one, two, three, four. So this will be a, a butene, teen, the E and E for the double bond, and it's on number one. one. And then I need to then specify my methyl group right here. So yep. this is a two, two methyl. methyl, two butene. One butene. That's oh, that's a one. Can't read your own handwriting. Can't read my own handwriting. I have that problem a lot. All right, one more, I think. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. So this will be a butene. No. Nope. Yeah, got it. Pen tine. And it's a two pentine and it's a four methyl two pentine. Yeah. Good. All right. Alrighty. Hey, isomerism is not just uh, this different structure, but you can also have uh, a structure that is related to what's called cis and trans. Yeah, this happens when you have a double bond or a tri yeah, just double. Just double bond on two carbons that are not at the very end. So you, this will never happen on a one butene. It would only happen on a two butene. So okay? this is butene right here, but it's mm -hmm. two butene. They're both two butenes. Yep. But because of the orientation, this carbon and this carbon are on the top, if you will. Yep. And these carbons, one's on top and one's on right. bottom. And the way I remember this, the cis starts with a C and it's shaped like a C. Oh yeah, like like this. Like a C. Yeah. I always remembered trans because it looks like a, you, you're transporting a long direction. Oh, oh yeah, that works too. Yeah, so trans basically opposite, cis on the same side. Yep. So the, the, actually, those are both two butenes, but they're different chemicals. Yep. And you can see down here pictorially what they look like. Yeah. All right, we're not going to do more examples. Nope. All right. Uh, there also is some odd things here we call aromatic groups. Um, there's a chemical called a benzene, mm -hmm. and this is benzene right here. Without the double bonds. Without the sense. double bonds. Technically, you should have a, uh, alternating double bonds. Yeah. It actually has two resonant structures. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get into that. But basically, this is the structure. This is how they draw them. Yep. Is the, um, and actually, they've drawn them with the double bonds yeah. here. By the way, guys, when you see compounds uh, drawn like the ones Mr. Bergman just marked up there without any letters on them, anytime there's a, an angle, yeah, that's, a, a that's a carbon. 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 And then the hydrogens are assumed. And the so hydrogens are branching off of there. And you yep. can see actually this is what it looks like right yep. here. And then actually benzene is such an important chemical in the chemical world, they actually just put a circle in it and that equals that right there. Yep. All right. And so if you have aromatic groups, if we're trying to name something here, actually if you put two benzene rings, it's called naphthalene. If you put three of them, it's anthracene. If you put uh, three of them together, but they're not in a, in a row kind of deal, they're kind of at this you know angle deal, yep. it's this one. And then um, this is a more complex one. Yep. All right, so if I want to name something, um, and we can put things on them like bromo groups, those are just bromo, it's mm -hmm. like a group, uh, you would just say, you know, uh, one comma four dibromobenzene. You can just kind of figure it out. Yeah. This is methyl counting. benzene. That makes sense. Also called it? toluene. Yeah. Common name. And then this has got this has got um, this group right here is important too. So it's toluene. So this is a chloro toluene. It's on number three. Mm -hmm. Where this is number one and number yeah. two and number three. I think you get the idea. Yeah. All right. Well, how would we name this right here? This is an interesting. 
Oh, that's a fun compound. This is a very fun compound. Because it's got the benzene ring with the uh, CH3 at the top. That's a toluene. This right here is a toluene. So this is going to end in toluene. Ene, by the way, because it has double bonds. Uh -huh. And then we have nitrogen at three different places. That's Actually, at, it's at question number uh, two, three. This is number one here. One, two, three, four. Five six. We call it two two four. Two comma two no. Two comma four comma six. Oh yeah. Tri nitro toluene. Tri 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 nitro toluene. T and D. This is what they blow things up. With. Kaboom. Kaboom. Yeah. All right. Hey, functional groups. We could talk about some different types of groups. Now that we've assumed that everything's basically made of carbons and hydrogens. Mm -hmm. But that's, and that's the backbone that all these are built off of. Right. And so if we have a hydrocarbon that has um, a halocarbon, pardon me, that means it's going to have a halogen, a halogen, which is fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine. And then we just use um, some prefix like a fluoro, chloro, bromo, and iodo. 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 I like that name. Sounds like something. Yes, it does. And if you end in an OH, it's an alcohol. It'll have this structure, ROH. If it's an ether, ether, it's it's this. And by the way, the R, what's the R, Mr. Sam? It's just any carbon chain. Yeah, a bunch of carbons connected to carbons connected to whatever. You know, yeah, some it could carbon. be one carbon. It could be 100 of them. Yeah, exactly. And aldehyde has got a double bond and a single bond to an H. They look like this, where R is that kind of the, the, the radical mm -hmm. is actually what it's called. So, guys, by the way, have this table out when you're doing your homework. Yeah. You'll you're, get real familiar with these really fast. Ketones have got a double bond and then yeah. some carbon things. It's the aldehyde H. cousin. Instead of one, the hydrogen, they have another carbon yeah. chain. Yeah, ketones, they smell pretty good, usually. Mm -hmm. Um, carboxylic acids. Actually, the, most of the acids that we have studied, like uh, acetic, uh, acetic acid, acid here, uh, is, is actually one of these. Acid, yeah. Esters and the amines. And you can kind of see this. It's basically, you're going to see as we do an example. All right. What type of a chemical? We're trying not, we're not going to name it. We're no. just, what type of chemical? We've got an OH there. That's an alcohol. If it ends in an OH, so you have this chart here, right? Oh, you see OH. Ah, it's an alcohol. Sometimes called a hydroxyl functional group. Yep. This one has a double bond O. Mm -hmm. And then an H, and then a bunch of carbons. This yep. is your R right here. That's the R. So what's yep. that? Double That's one. an aldehyde. That's an aldehyde. On the homework, you're basically just going to identify these types. Yep. Got another aldehyde. And that would be also be an aldehyde. All right, now this one I've got an OH group, and yep. that's it. That's it. So that's, that's an alcohol. alcohol. All right. All right. Ooh. Ooh. That's a special group. That wasn't on the chart. Then let's skip it. Okay. Right. But this one is an easy one. That is, yep. Actually, this is ethanoic acid. It's got two carbons. Yep. My elephant. This is ethanoic acid, better known as acetic acid. Uh -huh. that's your double bond O, OH. Yeah, that's, that's a carboxylic acid. Is the it's got a double there. bond O and an OH. This is the carboxylic acid group. So you're looking for everything that is not C's and H's. Yep. This oh, one, COOH. We yeah, need to talk about we should that. talk about. It. If you see COOH, that actually means this. So and that's then, another carboxylic acid. This is also an acid. Yeah. All right. Now this one has a double bond O yeah. and then O C da 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 like that. Which yep. one's that? That's no. an ester. Yeah. This is an ester. Look at the chart. You know, they go back to this chart, wherever it is. Right there. Second one from the bottom. Second one from the bottom. You see this guy right here. So that was the ester. Another ester. And that's another ester. And that's it. And that's it. All right, that is the second last podcast so, of the year. All you need to know how to do, guys, is name alkanes and identify functional groups. The end. One more podcast, and it's done. Hallelujah. Woohoo!